Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. In this session, we are going to see about NO contact. So, let's see all the basics about NO contact, which is also called as normally open contact. So, in the ladder logic, this is one of the important instruction because this is the one uh, throughout we are going to use. What may be the project in ladder logic without NO contact? It is impossible to write the logic. So, let's see about this NO logic in CX programmer. So, you can find NO instruction here. So, I will just name this instruction. Let it be a switch one. So, if you see NO contact, in simple, I can say the switches we are using in our home, that is a NO contact. Why it is like that means, if you turn on, the position of the switch will get changed, so that the corresponding output will turn on. Maybe the lamp or fan, what may be the home appliances. If you turn on the lamp or the the output, the corresponding output will get turned on. So, that is a perfect example for NO contact, normally open contact. What is this normally? Why the name is called as normally open contact means it does not allow the power to flow. But when you change the position, it will allow. So, normally it will be open. If you disturb the state of the switch, it will get close. Understood. So, let us let's connect an output. I am taking one coil here and I am connecting that as a output. So, let us say uh, this is the uh, tube light we are having in our home. Okay. So, this is our tube light switch. I am connecting. Okay. So, this is a logic, right. So, ladder logic is the logic behind the home appliances. So, imagine like that. So, you have a switch here and you have a tube light here. So, now if you see there is a power flow here. Okay. So, this is a positive rail and this is a negative rail. So, from positive rail to negative rail power have to flow so that the power will reach the tube light. Okay. So, in the ladder logic the, uh, in the, the flow of power will be like left to right. So, it is it is starting at left. Have you seen? There is a, a you know green color over there, no? So, it is like power is going before, till, I mean before the NO contact. It stopped before the NO contact. Why? Because the contact is opened. So, since the contact is open, it is not allowing the power to flow inside. Understood? That is what our tube light is not yet turned on. Okay, uh, in in layman example, like uh, uh, if you if you are traveling from one place to another place, okay. So while you are traveling to your uh, uh, destination, there is a block. So maybe uh, a traffic police is uh, uh, you know they have put some barrier or some disturbance you are having over there. So you couldn't be able to reach your destination. So that restriction is now this normally open contact which is not allowing. So, what we have to do? We have to remove the barrier or we have to pass through the barrier. Alright. So, for that what we have to do? We have to change the position of the switch. So, if you want to turn on the tube light at your home, what you will do? You will be turning on. Turning on is nothing but changing the position. So, what I am going to do? This is already a off condition. Correct. I, this is already off condition. What I have to do? I want to change from off to on. Let us do that. Okay. I am going to do on. So, once I have turned on, the power which was stopped before the NO contact is now going through NO and it is reached the destination which is the tube light. So, have you seen the tube light is on? Now, if you want to turn off, what will happen? The power will come back to this, you know, the previous location. So, it is allowing, it was allowing before, now it is not allowing because 
we have changed the position all right now again change it you can turn on you can turn off so this is normally open contact normally open contact means it will never allow the power to flow if you are allowing if you are changing the position it will allow so that is normally open contact and what is one more switch is here so let's see that also and adding that as switch okay i have given the same address okay let it be a switch to so let's go on and check now you have a two input so the power has to reach the tube light means it have to cross to normally open contact so what i have to do first we have to pass one input see it crossed it crossed the first input now this is blocking now what i have to do i have to turn on this also so both the inputs are in series so that's what it's like a condition and a condition both both have to be on to turn on the tube light okay if you are having some option means what if the switch is over here so let's connect all right so now what will happen let's see so now the power is at this location and also this location because switch 2 is directly connected to the rail positive rail so switch 2 will also receive the power switch 1 will also receive the power now let's see if switch 2 is on see tube light is on it's like a two switch for one output what will happen if you turn on the first input same because your output is already on even though if you turn on turn it on again i mean the second input is on nothing will happen because tube light is already in on condition if you turn off the second switch what will happen now the power is flowing through the switch one so it is still in on condition now if you turn off that input also then your tube light will go off so this is how normally open contact will get work in ladder logic programming i hope you have understood the normally open contact i'll meet you in the next session with normally closed contact before winding up the session kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates thank you